Okay, as promised, I want to talk about another tool that comes in the kit that you can buy from Klein. I'll put a link to that video in this corner here. Uh, it is the Klein Tools NCVT 3P voltage tester and flashlight. Okay, I want to make a long video on this one. This is handy. We use this at work all the time for checking for our circuits. Uh, to see if there is a presence of electricity, okay? Not only can it be used on outlets or wiring, but if you suspect something's been energized, like maybe the shell of this panel or something, somebody says they walk by and they touched it and they got a shock, uh, you can push the on button here and check for the presence of voltage, okay? If you go like this, one of the screws, somebody says, hey, I got a shock off this screw when I touched it. Well, you don't want to get a shock, do you? Pull this out, turn it on. And the range I have is between 12 and 1,000 volts. That gives me the biggest range. Uh, there is no voltage here. So there is no presence of voltage here. This does not replace a multimeter, but it's handy in a pinch. If you just want to, you see a wire or you, you want to see if the outlet has power, doesn't say how much, doesn't say the actual voltage, but it will tell you the presence of voltage, okay? Uh, let me move the camera. Now uh, this also has a handy flashlight. If it's dark and you need to work in a panel, which is a lot of case what happens. Okay, if I was to shut off the kitchen light. Okay, and you need to work in here, you can hold the light button on and you wanna read the panel schedule. Okay, it's handy. It's handy to have that light. It's handy to look at what you're looking at here. And your voltage tester is on. Okay, see it's picking up the presence of voltage. Okay, green, no voltage. Let me turn off the light so you can see it better. See the green light? Okay, way over here, it's a blue light. It's picking up at least 12 volts. Okay, and as I get closer, it's picking up high voltage, okay? So we know these breakers has the presence of power, okay? It has power in there. Okay, this one doesn't look like it does, but it's because it's, it's way over here. I guarantee you that has more than 12 volts, okay? So all these are on. That's on, definitely. Let me show you some other uses. If you want to shut it off, you just hold the red button on for a second or two, and it beeps a couple times, and it goes off, okay? All right, as a quick check, as a quick check on receptacles, okay? It doesn't replace the plug checker type if it's wired right, but you can check to see if there's a presence of voltage, okay? We want to hold this N non-contact. You push this red button. Okay, now it's on. I'm gonna go over here, it has a blade. Okay, you can put it in the outlet a little bit. You don't wanna force it. All right, but it turns red, right? All right, that's the presence of voltage. We don't know how much, but we know it's between 70 and 1,000. If it's blue, like way back here, it's only picking up 12 volts, okay? But I assure you it's more than 12 volts, especially when you get closer. All right, this is handy. Every homeowner has installed a ceiling fan, or at least wants to, okay? Once you get your light fixture down or whatever's hanging up there in that fan box, when you're working on it, before you start working on it, you shut it off or you thought you shut it off, you wanna make sure you have this on and then the exposed wiring that's up there coming out of the ceiling, you want to touch all those wires and make sure that you have no voltage before you work on it, okay? Uh, it goes all the way down to 12 volts. So it's less than 12 volts. It's probably not going to hurt you. And it doesn't replace a multimeter, but at least it tells you the presence of voltage. Electricians usually keep this whoop, right here or right in their pocket because it's that handy. It's always just a click away to check for the presence of voltage. You definitely want that when you're working on something and there's a lot going on and there's a people around. You don't know if somebody has turned the switch on, if it's a big room or a big place, somebody turned the circuit on, you don't know. So you, if, you, if you can't trust, you don't have it locked out, 
you need to keep this by your side and keep every time before you touch it, you need to test it. Because somebody might have turned it on for whatever reason. It's handy to have. Okay, a lot of times these we use on cords. Because where I work, we use cords a lot. There's cord connected everything. And sometimes they're extension cords and you can't tell where it goes. So we just pick up the cord. A lot of times this one, obviously you can see where it goes, but if you have an extension cord and you don't know if it has power, you can pick up the cord, okay? And just put this near the cord. All right, this has power. Again, I don't know how much, but it has power. Very handy if you have extension cords everywhere, separate the cords from another cord and then do like this and you know it's working. If you pick it up and there's no signal, chances are it's cut somewhere or it's not plugged in. So then you can start chasing down the cord and see where it goes. Sometimes you don't need to check the power. Sometimes you just need to see. So you can turn on its light and you can look in there and say, oh, okay, well, that's a security system of some sort. Uh, yeah, pretty nice at one time. But sometimes you need the light. It's not a big flashlight, but it's enough to be able to see. Handy. Okay, so if you want to purchase the kit, it comes with four tools. It comes out of the Klein Tool Kit CL120VP. I'm going to put a link in the description for the whole set. And I'm going to put a link to just this one in case you just want to order this non-contact voltage tester. It's very handy. Um, some electricians don't like these things. It just senses the presence of voltage, okay? It doesn't give you any numbers, and you have to make sure that this is working. You always want to test it on something that's on. You make sure that it works. You hear it's working because if you go up to something and the battery in this is dead and you check for voltage and you go, oh, there's no voltage there, we're good. Well, that's where the error happens. It's because the battery's dead and it's not working. Always make sure you have lights before you test anything and test it on something known like a light switch or something. You can put this up against the light switch and it'll test, it'll, it'll show you that it has voltage. But always make sure, these are getting better. Make sure that you know the battery is working, the system is good before you test it on something and pull it out and start working on it. You want to make sure this is working. Very important. That's the reason why a lot of electricians back in the day hated these things. They had no light. They had no way of knowing that they had power. People would test something and go, oh, okay, the power's off. Well, actually, no, the power's on. The battery's dead. And now you get hurt. Okay. Very nice tool to get. Thank you for watching. Like and share. Uh, I will put links to this and, of course, the whole kit. And... Get yourself one of these at least if you're a homeowner or a renter. Thank you for watching.